This one's actually kind of loud. I can actually hear it through the garage door. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive like in and out of the garage. Let's dive right in here. The model number on this Power Smart Leaf blower is PS76. 220A and it is made in China. This unit comes with a two year warranty, but with all PowerSmart products, save the box for any warranty purposes. Here we go. Slice and slice. We have our instruction manual, our main air tube, our nozzle end, some bubble wrap. I want the batteries. Here we go. I think this is our charger. Boom, boom. Oh, they bubble wrap the charger. There we go. This is our 40 volt charger. Here's our battery. It's not as colorful as the one on the trimmer, but hey, it'll get the job done. And then out of the box, our blower unit. This is actually pretty lightweight in itself. First thing I wanna do is get this baby charging here on the bench. Nifty little plug cover. Plug this baby in. Lock and load, baby. This one's actually kind of loud. This is your 40 volt, four amp hour battery, and it normally takes about two and a half hours to charge. This is louder than their 80 volt unit. The other 40 volt unit that I have for their string trimmer isn't as loud as this one. I wonder why. Regardless, I'm gonna have this sitting here on the charger so that way I can get it going in a little bit. Check this out, this thing's so loud, it's actually interfering with my other shots. I had to move it outside the garage to charge. I can actually hear it through the garage door. All right, so let's take our unit. We're gonna install the pipes. We're gonna slide this on and then simply twist it into place. That's actually pretty solid. This thing doesn't even wiggle around, which is nice. Compared to the 615 CFM blower by Ego, that thing wobbles like crazy. Then we're just gonna simply slide our nozzle end on and twist it and we're ready to go. Our battery is now fully charged and it does have these nice rubber bumpers here on all the sides. So that way when you set this unit down after you're done leaf blowing, it doesn't damage the battery. That's smart thinking. So now let's slide this guy on. We got our four metal prongs here. We got our four slots here. Simply lock and load. That is a fully assembled PowerSmart 40 volt battery powered leaf blower. Not too complicated to put this guy together. And to keep this video from getting complicated with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below? Thank you. Now here's the facts on this PowerSmart leaf blower. This whole unit weighs 11 pounds with the 40 volt, four amp hour battery attached at the bottom. So not too heavy. Fully assembled, this unit is 33 and a half inches long. Air pushing out the pipe is 310 cubic feet per minute. And wind speeds coming out the end are 99 miles per hour. PowerSmart, you couldn't do 100? There are two modes with this blower, high and low. On low, this unit will run for approximately 50 minutes. On high, it'll run for about 35 minutes. Here's the unit on low. Now high. It's a good amount of air coming out of there. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go blow. Now my parents' lawn was a little overgrown this week, so I figured, hey, I'll go mow it. We'll test this unit out on an average lawn cleanup, and we'll see how she does. So here's what I like about this budget leaf blower. It's comfortable to hold in your hand, it's got a nice grip, and it's lightweight. And it's slightly more powerful than the plug-in weed eater leaf blowers that are out there. It's great for grass cleanup after you mow, and it's a great way to blow out any dust and debris that's in your garage. And if you got one or two trees in your yard that are gonna drop some leaves this fall, this could be a great leaf blower for some light leaf cleanup. Now here's what grinds my gears with this leaf blower. As I mentioned earlier, for some reason on this unit, the battery is very, very loud when charging. I couldn't even film half the shots for this video because this thing was just so loud to charge. This leaf blower is also oddly off balance when you place it on the ground. Now this may not seem like a huge deal, but over time, you're gonna start to wear down this area of the battery a little bit as it rocks back and forth on that pivot point. I do wish that this guy had a bit more power, not only from the CFM and the wind speed, but I also wish that the battery pack had a little bit more juice to it. After cleaning up my dad's driveway and his back patio for approximately 20 minutes, on high speed the entire time, we are left with exactly one bar, which is probably pretty close to that 35 minute mark that I mentioned earlier. For its size, the CFM seems okay, but the wind speed seems a little low, which means you're probably gonna have to spend a little bit more time pushing that leaf pile to the street. Now let's be honest here for a second. Nobody's gonna run this unit on low to push whatever mess is in front of them. You're going to be running this unit on high all the time. Low is just not powerful enough. 
and you're not gonna wanna be there forever to get the job done. So knowing that this unit is only going to run for approximately 30 to 35 minutes on its high speed, and let's say you have a big pile of leaves in front of you, you need to know in the back of your mind that you're gonna have to take a two and a half hour break to charge this thing. If you have a big property with a lot of trees all over the place ready to drop leaves in the fall, this is probably not gonna be the best option for you because of its low runtime and blowing force out of the unit. You'll probably wanna look at something a little bigger. So who exactly is this unit designed for? If you're a new homeowner or you're on a budget, this is a win for you. It's great for quick cleanups around the home. And I actually know a guy that dusted the entire inside of his house with one of these. It was hilarious. Way to clean like a man. If you do auto detailing, this could be a great unit for blowing water out of any crevices on a car. Let's say it's a winter morning and you got a dusting of snow on your car and you wanna clean up really quick without getting that gas smell all over your clothes. This could be a good option for you. And if you've already bought into the PowerSmart line, you could run multiple batteries between the trimmer, the blower, and other equipment. I'll have this leaf blower linked down below in the description, as well as some other videos that I did on some other PowerSmart lawn care equipment. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.